Walking into this Hamas hideout, it becomes clear what happened here just hours earlier. Palestinian security forces stormed the two-story building in this northern West Bank town after a fierce gun battle took place. Six people died, including two top Hamas militants and three Palestinian policemen. Authorities say they found bombs, suicide belts and bullets after searching the house. This Hamas spokesman is blaming the incident on Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and his Fatah movement. It's the bloodiest clash since Abbas launched a crackdown on Hamas in the West Bank two years ago. In recent months, the two factions have tried to reach a unity deal. But talks have stalled because Hamas refuses to recognize Israel, a precondition for joining a coalition with Abbas supporters. This latest incident comes just days after Abbas met with President Barack Obama at the White House. The U.S. has been training Abbas's elite forces to help him regain control of the West Bank. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.